Recently, I showed you the very cool merge function that we have here in GarageBand iOS on the iPad or the iPhone where we can tap on a track, we can go to merge, and we can actually merge two different tracks together to create one track, thus freeing up some additional tracks to use here in GarageBand. Well, today, I'm gonna to show you a similar trick that we can use on MIDI tracks where we can combine the actual MIDI note information to create one MIDI track and free up some additional tracks. Let's go. My name is Pete, this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, if you're a GarageBand iOS user like I am, here on the iPhone or the iPad, then you've probably run into a situation where you're creating some MIDI tracks, and especially with drums, I tend to find doing it one track at a time helps out. So here, I've got a track where I have my kick drum, I have my snare, I have my hi-hat, and I have my crash. And I've separated these out because when you're playing them live, I find it's just easier to do that to create a cool drum loop and then all together they sound like this. And again, much easier to play that one instrument or one kit piece at a time rather than all together. But now we've got four tracks taken up here where we only really need one because it's one instrument. So how do we fix this? Well, the way we do it is to use the very cool join feature here in GarageBand iOS. So how do we do that? Well, first we need to select these items. There's two ways we can do that. We can tap anywhere outside and drag a rectangle around like that and that's gonna select them all. Or if we don't have the ability to click anywhere outside, we tap and hold down on one and then we tap the other three with a different finger. So don't just sort of tap them individually like this or they will just do that. But if you tap one, tap and hold, tap, 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 then you will select all of those and zoom in as the case may be. Um, so what we now need to do is tap again on one of these and then you'll see up the top here, there's this join function between split and edit, we tap on join. Let's hit join. And presto changeo, there we go. It has moved all of those. We can now come in here and delete all of these tracks because these are no longer needed. And what this has done is done a similar function to the merge feature, but you'll notice here, instead of it merging it into an audio recorder track, which we can't edit, we can now continue to edit this track. So if we come in here and we go to edit, you can see that here is our kick drum, our snares, our hi-hats, our, our uh, crash symbol, everything is all there and maintained. It's just combined all of those onto one single track. And now if we play back our loop here, then it's all combined and we've taken four tracks and turned them into one. I hope you find this trick useful and that you can use it in one of your upcoming projects. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there are two links down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right, and you can head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.